Welcome to the sixth module of the Introduction to Electric Vehicles course by Dr. Fawad Azim and it's brought to you by Khatija Academy. In this sixth module, we'll see the charging infrastructure. And in this module, we will see how the charging equipment and charging infrastructure works. This is actually the fuel station that we have in the conventional vehicles. Up till now, we have seen the motors, we have seen the, uh, the battery systems, and now we'll see how actually the charging station works. An electric vehicle charging station is equipment that is that connects an electric vehicle EV to a source of electricity to recharge electric cars, neighborhood electric vehicles, and plug-in hybrid. Charging stations are also called electric vehicle supply equipment and are provided with the municipal parking locations by electric utility companies or at retail shopping centers by providing uh, by private companies these stations provide special connectors that can conform to the variety of the electric charging standards so in this way you have the, the charging infrastructure available into different locations and uh, these locations could be the shopping malls, offices, retail offices, markets, and in mosques, in every everywhere where the, there is a there is a frequent movement of EVs, we have these infrastructure. Although still we do not have the huge infrastructure available for charging these stations, that is why the range anxiety is there. We will see in the separate module about the range anxiety, which is the next module. But in this module, we will see that how charging stations works. It's a supply system for the batteries. So we have seen that batteries are the fuel tank for the EVs. How we can pull up, fuel up uh, that uh, charging uh, that tank. We can use the charging stations for this. So we have different kind of charging station. One is level one, level two charging station. Then we have level three charging station as well. But let us start with the level one charging station. This is the home charging station, or, or it is also called the onboard charging station. Vehicle owner often supplied with the level one charges from automobile manufacturers at the time of purchase that use at home with 120 volt standard. So the important thing is that we are dealing these charges with 120 volts it means that it will take more than eight hours to charge the vehicle at level two charger is like having your own gas pump in your garage but it is a smart appliance that charges your vehicle a level two charging station delivers an electrical current from an outlet of a hardwired unit to vehicle via the connector similar to the stand a standard issue charger level two charge car charger use 208 to 240 volt power source and a dedicated circuit potentially up to 60 amps 60 amps is a huge current typical charging time for a level 2 EV charger is 3 to 8 hours from the empty to full while the level 1 has 11 to 20 hours to fully charge so we have the public charging this is the dc fast charging level 3 charging stations are the fastest on the market today able to deliver between 50 kilowatt and 400 kilowatt power charging for one hour within a level 3 charging stations so it certainly can take less than hour to fully charge your vehicle but it's as you can see getting 50 kilowatts or 400 kilowatt power then the tariff rates will be very high and definitely this will also uh, stress the grid that we are getting from uh, that we, the, the power that we are getting from the major grids and mainstream networks to our homes it will certainly will impact our home as well because it's a huge DC level 3 fast charging station but it's quite uh, good for EV owners because it will charge just within an hour so essentially all of the above terms refer to the charging station that converts the current from alternating AC to the direct current before it reaches to the vehicle. The and definitely we are getting AC from the main supplier, but we need to convert this AC into DC in order to charge our vehicles. So we can make conversions and then the charging station is available for to charge your vehicle. This is the kind of uh, charging station that we have different uh, levels level one it's simple like your mobile charger you can charge it using the 120 volt although the current is higher 
then we have a 240 volt charging station then we have a fast charging so you can see that DC fast charger using more than 480 volts this is important you have to you have to have the good knowledge of the voltages operating voltages for these charging stations and this is the outlet this is the outlet and then we have the charging stations here so as I told you that how we are getting it from the grid then we have a bus network a bus off the grid 220 kilowatt city grid power grid and then we have a 1 kilo 110 kilovolt service station here and then we have the charging station so we have a 110 kV service station that provides uh, the supply through transformer to the charging station so this is how the grid is involved and contributing to the charging station as much charging station as we have here for example three are being shown here if we have more than three we have tens and twenties and thirties and forties of the charging station then you can understand then that we need more and more power from the grid and so when we are getting more and more power from the grid then definitely the grid that is providing power to our homes and industries and commercial building then definitely the amount of power being provided is reduced at that side because this is a huge power so how you are going to manage that is you are you need to increase the top of your grid in order to charge the EVs so this is again a big challenge for the utility companies that how they are going to deal with that so up to now it's all about the charging station in the next slide we will see in the next module what the range anxiety and how we can cope up with the range anxiety thank you thank you for watching this lesson I would like to invite you to our Academy, Khadija Academy Premium uh, Membership, which will help you learn more about electrical engineering. In this Academy or in the Academy Membership, you will find that we'll have more than 100 uh, courses in Mass, Electrical Engineering Basics, uh, Power Engineering uh, Career uh, Preparations. For example, we have Electrical Design, we have courses on electric circuits, power electronics, ETAB, MATLAB, solar energy, wave energy, wind energy, and much more. You will find also in this uh, academy, you will find the different uh, feedbacks from some of our uh, students that joined our uh, courses. You can, for example, um, uh, join our membership for just a small fee per month or you can just have a lifetime access in which you will get all of current uh, courses and classes and you can have them forever and not only this but any any new courses that will be created you will be able to uh, watch it for completely free so what are the classes that i will learn in this membership you will find different classes in electric circuits you will find in uh, transformers, magnetic circuits, machines, uh, power electronics, uh, load estimation, lighting design, lightning also design, earthing system, cables, uh, generators, um, light current systems, or low current systems, uh, off-grid design, on-grid design. Very, very lot, <laughs> lots of uh, classes and courses in different uh, topics. Okay, and you will find that inside when you join this membership, you will find this uh, blueprint that will guide you in which classes you will start with when you join this membership. So thank you and see you in our um, membership on Khadija Academy.